again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back. It is good to see you all here for Flotsam. I'm actually doing really well in gathering a lot of materials and having everyone not die, which is a great thing. So thank you, everybody, for commenting your name down below or just saying hi, so that way I can assign you in the uh, town. So far, we've gotten Gene Jensen, Tim Telcher, Eden One, Martin Lone Wolf, B. Lewis, and David Schrader giving their names for citizens in the town. I haven't yet renamed them, but you know they're in here. And then also, we need some names for our boats. We got a boat, by the way, already going to the uh, salvage site over here to where apparently we'll be able to uh, get some more materials. So we got somebody over here at this wonderful city builder game. Yes, indeed. We're building a floating city and bringing back supplies and all sorts of goodies. Ooh, what's that? Is that metal? Oh, canned food. Wonderful. So we're going to gather some more supplies. And uh, as uh, we found out in the last episode, by the way, there's a water tower here somewhere around here that is full of, well, water. And of course, we'll be able to uh, bring all that water, that wonderful fresh water back and uh, store it. So we'll see. Oh, good. This has been completed. Excellent. Looks like we were able to find all the stuff over here at this uh, abandoned uh, town. Wait, what's going on here? It doesn't look like it's completely full yet. Maybe, maybe we uh, just need to find some more. Anyway, let's get to work sending out our ships to gather supplies, especially food. We're going to need it for our big old crazy journey. So let's go ahead and start sending out our fishing boats to find some fish. And then we'll start drying those as well. And then we'll also... Ooh, looks like they're a long, far way away. The game, uh, the developer seems to need a little update just to make certain things that are within visual range maybe inside the play area. Otherwise, I can't reach that, unfortunately. It's a little bit outside of our zone. Well, we can see it, so we should be able to grab it. But that is totally fine. Oh, well, that's the second one now. Darn it, where's all our food? I'm hungry. Come on. All right, luckily we're bringing back a lot of canned food, so that's not as critical. But we do have two fishing boats for a reason, and that reason, of course, is because I'm hungry. A la de coming. All right, let's see. We eh, Looks like we can't get any more fish. Looks like they're out of the play area. So let's go grab some wood then. And uh, would you believe it? There's a huge pile over here. Uh, oh, actually, a mixed pile over there. But here... Lots of wood, so that way we can dry that out and get some more uh, water supplies going. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, grab all that, sir. Yeah, grab all that. Okay, perfect. So we'll have a salvage ship go over there. And uh, we're out of fish to dry for a little while, so let's switch some of these to drying wood. Excellent. And then if we happen to bring back any fish, we'll switch that over. Although we have plenty of food from the uh, sca uh, scavengers from before, so that's good. All right, we're making fuel so we can make some more water, but perhaps we don't need that at the moment because we've got... I'm going to turn these off, actually, because we've got uh, a giant water tower here. So let's take advantage of that and we'll uh, disperse our labor elsewhere. Okay, <clears throat> let's get to um, possibly building more storage yards. We have a few over here, and it seems like we're going to have a lot more material before we head out. So let's build another storage yard there. Raptoria is going to be kind of like a giant ship when we're done here. We'll see. Also, in the previous episode, a lot of you guys, or in the first episode, said that we need to build more homes in order to attract more drifters. I think we actually have to find them. So we'll see what we can do there very soon. As for research, we are at 18 research points now. And one of the things I really want to do is the desalinator, which is perfect. Remove salt water from seawater to generate fresh water in large amounts. So this is a huge problem solver. Also, the solar still, too, is a big problem solver, too. But really importantly is the food truck the f the best food at your favorite truck stop serves cooked sushi's muscle muscle and sushi i don't know exactly what it does but it, it needs a lot of uh, screws and things like that so that's awesome it exports sushi oh it gives a higher nutritional value maybe oh no it's just one. Oh, it requires seaweed and fish excellent well we'll see about that later uh, we'll need to build some other materials. I think what we'll probably need to do is start with the um, scrapsmith, so that way we can make nails and things like that. But we'll see. We'll, we'll go along in time. Water's getting low. Don't worry. We're going to uh, build an area to store extra water here soon enough. And I don't know how much water our town hall can store. Oh, it looks like 10 out of 60, so we got plenty of storage for that. So let's send our next ship out. It looks like he just needs to be offloaded. So right now we're just working on uh, getting everybody to uh, offload everything that needs to be shipped out and get everything in ship shape. Should also have a yep, boat going out there, and then our fishing boat should go out too. Looks like he's actually still going over there to scavenge things. Looks like he's not done yet, even though there's a check mark. All yeah, right. Well, maybe we should build another boat for discovery while we're waiting. Uh, we just need uh, two more wood in order to do that. And it looks like all that wood's being dried now, including all the fish from the previous uh, jumps out there. Uh, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and just grab some wood here. I think we should probably continuously bring in some wood. Right now we're just kind of holding in a holding pattern until we get some more uh, materials and stuff available. Luckily, plenty of food. Water, oh, looks like we still need to run, run the 
the water then. The distillers need to keep running. And so does the distiller, which, or rather the uh, firewood station, which requires dry wood, which now we have, so that's fine. And it's just on the drying racks, so that's okay. All right, get back to work, boys. I love it. These guys uh, get done with their uh, deliveries, and they immediately go running for food. The same. I would totally do the same. Well, let's put another boat here. Seems like these parking lots are just mooring, so the fishing boats can come back pretty much anywhere they want. And same with the salvager, or scavenger boat. What do they call that exactly? Salvage buoy. Oh, looks like there's some wood right here. Actually, I think it got caught from our previous uh, from our previous run. Oh, look at all that food. Mm, perfect. Let's just get some more water going then. So our uh, woodworking shed is now making all the firewood for them. Oh, it looks like some more water just needs to be delivered, so that's good. Uh, let's go out on some multiple journeys. We're going to go for the water next, the water tower. And then we're going to go over to the uh, oil factory. But the good thing is, is we want to gather supplies before we leave. So there's lots of good stuff here, lots of good food. Look at all that food. Mm. Tasty. I've been loving this game so far. How about you? And by the way, if you haven't already, remember Glory to Raptoria and leave that like too and let me know you'd like to see more of this game. Because uh, I've just been loving this one. Not, not even liking. I'm loving this one. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Burger King. All right, we need ourselves another salvager, so let's do it. We got two fishing boats, two salvagers. So we can have people, I guess, uh, you know, running out and gathering a ton of materials and then working one day processing those materials. Looks like we don't have anything for fish remaining. But I'll keep one just in case a fishing boat comes back. I think we... Oh, it's kind of a, a pain because of all the fish is out of our range now. I can't reach some of that fish that's out there, so we're going to have to actually leave this place soon uh, because it's just out of our reach. But we did gather a ton of food from Shacktown down here. Looks like we might still be gathering stuff. Yeah, looks like they're still bringing over tons of tons of wood. It's wet wood, but there he goes. All right. All right, so another ship being constructed here, halfway done or so. So we'll have him out go out and gather water, which we're at critical now. So this is this is good timing. Not done just yet, but it's almost there. I love how there's little buoys around something to show it's being constructed. All right, I need somebody to go. Nope, don't go there. I need somebody to go gather water. There we go. Go get go grab that water. Two is better than zero. So long as it's not zero, we're okay. Looks like a lot of water is being constructed. We need to be more efficient with that water production now. Looks like there's still f plenty of firewood here. All right, so both ships are now out salvaging. So, wow, we got a lot. Ooh, we got a lot more research points. Holy crap! I need to research something soon. I just don't know what to spend my points on. I'm like a little nervous. I don't want to buy the wrong thing. Uh, our town hall can hold 60, and the water tower has 20. So I don't think we want to go with that for now. However, a way to make water more effic effectively would be good. However, we need screws and pipes. In we need item underscore plastic tube underscore name in order to do that. So um, in order to build that, we're going to need a plastic recycler and a scrapsmith to do that. But it seems like, yeah, in order to build the recycler, we need screws. So it seems like we need to start here. And it makes uh, both... Actually, is that... That says plastic tube, but I'm assuming that it's probably metal. So we'll have to unlock that first in order to turn scrap into metal. However, we aren't able to find scrap very often, so I'm not sure about that either. But we'll need it eventually to get some more of those advanced buildings. So we'll be in a holding pattern for now. Here's all that delicious water. Mm, tasty, wonderful, just like Grandma used to make. I know. It's the best ever, bro. All right, I certainly want to get a lot of fuel now for our long journey to the next world. Now, also, we're going to discover oil, and I wonder exactly what we can do with that. We don't really have a motor, so you'd think we'd have to build, like, a motor or something next, but it doesn't look like there's anything for me to research yet in terms of uh, transportation. I can't scroll down or anything, so we'll see what that has in store for us in just a moment. All right, salvage boats have brought back water. No more fish for us, so luckily we're just going to sit here for a little while and work on some of these jobs. If somebody could not work on these things for a little while. Let's actually get rid of you guys for a minute. Plenty of fuel there for a while. Just please offload that boat. That's what we need to do. Please offload that boat, and then we got plenty in storage. Oh, looks like someone's napping. All right, here comes some more water. Wow. 
Awesome. That's done. Perfect. 20 water is back. They just need to deliver it now. Excellent. Looks like the scavenger hunt is done, so we just need that fuel now, which is oil, actually. Some say these ruins could fill the sky with dark clouds. We learn a thing or two from them if we study the relics inside. Could have some oil in them as well. Oh, so we might actually get research points for that, too. All right, let's do it. Okay, so this is off. We've got all the water that we need. It just needs to be offloaded from the scavenging boats. And one resource that we should probably get a lot more of is... Well, actually, two resources. Let me get all the... Let me get all that plastic. Beautiful. And then let's get some more plastic over here. Plastic and wood, if you would be so kind. Ha ha ha. All right, go ahead and grab that. And that's 69. Nice, nice. And 40. Perfect. All right, so two scavenging chips should be ready there as soon as they're done with their other operations. I think they are. Water towers have been emptied. Good. All right. Back to base. All right, now, fishing boats can't do anything. Doesn't look like there's any fishing spots for me. Can't reach. Oh, what if I click here and then try to enlarge? Nope, that doesn't work. Oh, wait, actually. Nope. Can't do it. All right. That's a shame. I should put food a little closer then. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Plenty of water, plenty of food. So, I just need everybody working on offloading the ships then. I wonder if I could... Can I just shut this down for a little bit? Let's shut that down. I just want you guys to... Uh, yeah, full focus on offloading the boats, please. There we go. I wish that little crane would work. It doesn't really do anything. I got so excited when I saw it, but it doesn't do much at the moment. All right, good. Now, we don't have any metal scrap yet either, so hopefully that makes a change soon, too. And we're probably not going to see any more fish, so let's turn that into drying wood. There we go. Perfect. More wood being dried. Excellent. So we should have a lot of construction materials. And we've got plenty of homes here, too. Excellent. All this wet wood around. Can you guys just swim and grab some of this stuff? Yeah, go grab, go grab some of the stuff that's literally sitting, like, right there. There we go. It's so close, you guys can literally just grab it. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, that'll give us some more wet wood in order to dry off for fuel. Food's getting a little low. I'm gonna have to bail as soon as we're out of food, because, uh... I can't fish anymore, unless we have farms, but it doesn't look like I've unlocked that yet either. Love the unlock system for the game. I love how that functions. Wow, look at all the supply coming back. That is crazy. All that wood and plastic bottles and stuff just tied together. Nice, nice job, everybody. All right. Wow, look at all that stuff go. Go, baby, go. All right. So we're about ready to uh, send out our ship for purposes of uh, salvaging the oil. About ready there. Ooh, yeah, look at all that dry and rack hope. Mm. You guys, watching Raptors videos is as fun as watching wood dry. I just want to let you know that. That's that's the excitement level that you guys are here for tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. That was fantastic. Tonight on Raptors Show, we're talking about wood drying. Better than paint drying? Find out tonight. Also, uh, I think uh, uh, John Cusack is going to be in. There you go. I, I don't think I've seen any movie with John Cusack in it since 2012. Was he even in that movie? I don't know. All right. Well, wood is still being dry. That's fantastic. We can turn a lot of that into firewood and secures our water reserves. However, fish is going to be a problem. So the next place to go to, as soon as we can muster it, is the... Uh, it costs one to go down or north. Animals. Lonely seagulls need friends too. South villagers. There appears to be a person in need of rescue. We should put them in a boat. Hmm. And then apparently there's a shack town here. Ooh. Or we could go sail there. Oh, interesting. All these different paths. So interesting. Factory ruins. I wonder what would be best to go to. I think we want more people working. I think we should do that. I think we should go for people, to be honest. I think that's going to be best for us. Because the more people I have, the more we can do for production. And uh, wa water and other things are good too, but uh, also I need extra supplies in order to, f you know, feed people and, and uh, give them water too. So I guess we'll find out soon enough. But I do need to go somewhere in order to get more food. All right, we're almost done here. We're down to 5.5 on the food. Luckily, plenty of water. 17, and we're not even making anymore, so that's good. 
Oh, yeah, look at all that plastic coming in. Go, 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 go. Nice work, everybody. Glory to Raptoria. Yes. Gene and Tim and Eden and Martin and B. Lewis and David are just working like crazy. They're doing good work. All right, one more run, it seems. All right, I think we got enough for just one more run. I don't want to go for any more uh, food than that. Is there anywhere else I can get food? YouTuber. It was quite obvious that there's food. Uh, somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, there's food. Yeah, we knew that the whole time. I was screaming at my screen. All right, there we go. We found some food. Fantastic. All right, I guess there was a little bit of fish there. Anywhere else I may have missed? Okay, well that gives that buys us a little bit more time. Also, do both boats come over here or just one? It'd be nice if both boats came over. Clear that up faster. But then again, I guess we've got more people doing other stuff. All right, well, with that done, we'll need to go for fish drying then. There we go. Wow, look at that. We got 50 regular wood. Fantastic. So each small storage gives us 20. So that's plenty of capacity for us. Just want to stay focused on unloading boats now. That's why we need all of our people. Really, we need people to, you know, bring things back and forth all the time. It's really important. All right, we're real low on food and water. Let's go on that last salvage operation. About as much time, I think, as we could. But look at all the look at all the materials we were able to walk out of here with. That is just good job. That's a good job. We're out of food, but fish is drying, so we should be okay. People aren't too hungry yet. There is one person who's pretty hungry. But he'll be able to eat in just a moment. As soon as that fish is dried. All right, job done. And we have the oil. Fantastic. All right, let's just get these fish dried and stored, and then we'll be done. So we finally have some food now. Water, too. There we go. All right, well, we're out of food and water, but the next uh, area should be pretty plentiful. Excellent. Food is delivered. More water, or more fish is here. Good. Let's turn that solely into fish production, please. Oh, wonderful. Look at that. If it's drying uh, wood, they can actually use the rest of it for fish. How intelligent. Very good. All right, I think we're ready to move on to the next part of the world. Also, any more research for us? Uh, we have 18 points. All right, I'm going to still hold on to those until we really figure out what we should do next. All right, we're out of water. We are out of everything. So let's get out of here and go to the next world. I want some more people now. I want to be able to, run, to go on some more runs, supply runs. I want more people in the boat. So let's go down here and pick up this guy. And then go to Shack World. Looks like we can only go uh, west, or east, west to east. So... Looks like once we go here, we can't go any further. Interesting how it requires oil, although we don't have any motors or anything, so it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It's like if you were to give a diamond to a pirate. What, what does that do? That gets some booty. Oh, you can see the wind actually blowing here. Ah, maybe it'll blow back the other direction. All right, let's go ahead and get going. Boys, we need uh, everything working. Grab those fish. Let's grab some... Uh, let's go for food production first. So let's get a couple of things of food. Oh, listen to the cars. <laughs> Looks like there's a giant ship over here that's been destroyed. What is all this stuff? All right, let's first first get the food situation sorted. Oh, here we go. All right, two boats are going to go out and grab food. Now, what are these? We've got ourselves the Lonely Island with a few more people on board. Two more. Excellent. Two more people can join us. 32 at the viaduct for steel. Excellent. So we can start researching that. And then seaweed-covered rocks, which will give us 25 seaweed so we can start making the sushi and stuff. Perfect. All right, let's go for the additional people. So let's send over a rescue team there. I want to go grab that right away. And then let's go ahead and start making... Uh, we don't need to do that. We've got plenty of fuel. Let's turn on our uh, desalination plants. I feel like we don't need any more of these homes. I feel like... If you have half the number of homes of your population, that's good enough to get everybody rest. I think in order to get drifters, you have to just discover them. I don't I don't know if people will just join you at random. I don't think that's a thing. Yeah, I don't want anybody working outside 
of this area yet. So let's also make sure we're... Yeah, we want to be drying fish like crazy. we got a rescue operation going on. I suppose we could send another operation out. Or should we have this person offload ships? No, we should have people at base to offload ships. That would be a good call. We want people... Any, any sort of open hands to deliver water or to deliver food. Oh, looks like we got two more people on board. Excellent. Seems like we did. Oh, wonderful. Excellent. The boat's coming on back. And you can see its path there. Very good. Oh, they have skills. Kids menu. Eats less. Oh, good. Everybody's got like a little uh, tribute. Oh, what? Oh, I see. All right. Cool. Gives them little different bonuses and stuff. All right. Come on over, boys. We got plenty of food and water. Well, not really, but we'll get there. Just need the uh, distiller to start delivering. Oh, actually, isn't that all firewood there? Oh, looks like we need to make more of that. All right, let's get to it. I thought we had plenty of firewood there, but that actually was uh, just dried wood, I guess. My bad. All right. Where's our fishing boats? Did they bring back all the fish? Oh, the, yeah, they did. They're just uh, putting them on the racks now. All right. Got to cut it close here with the uh, water. All right, there we go. Job's done over here. Rescue complete. Good job. I wonder if the seaweed can just be eaten? Let's go on a salvage operation for that. I don't know if we can just eat that after drying it. Ah, good. Look at all the fishing going on. Excellent. All right, water and food are coming back again. Now we just need to salvage a ton of metal. So we may as well unlock that metal smith. That's definitely going to be something we need. The scrap smith. So we'll need to build one of those, so let's do that. So the scrap smith requires... Oh, tons of scrap, ironically. Okay. So we'll be able to get that from our viaduct. So it's good we came down here. Very good we came down here indeed. Is storage full? 15? No, it doesn't look like we're full. We have plenty of food. Just need a little bit more agua, which is uh, French for food, I think. No, it's actually Spanish for water. <gasps> oh, wow. It looks like cabbage or something or lettuce. They roll it up into balls. That's hilarious. I wonder. I don't think that's a food source until we actually process it. So I better go for more storage. Uh, what is this? Zero water? Yep, that's why we got an alert there. But looks like wood is being delivered. And seaweed's being offloaded. And lots of fish is being made. Good. Lots of firewood being constructed, too. And that firewood is a real crazy fast thing. Oh, we need more water now. Yes, yes. I know. Everybody's hungry. I know. Or, well, in this case, thirsty. The water is being delivered. It's just being immediately consumed whenever they reach over there. Bringing back all that seaweed for late game. Looks like there's five left, so only one boat should be needed to go back. All right, both distillers are functioning. Excellent. Well, we should probably build another one then. Actually, we could build a better one. We could build a bare workshop, but I don't know about that later. So we'll need 15 to get this then, the plastic recycler which uh, allows us to build more stuff, so that's cool. <gasps> cool, we're done. The seaweed cover rocks are complete. Excellent. All right, people heading back to get some more supply. More water needs to be delivered. Firewood's being made as fast as possible. <clears throat> Excellent on the seaweed boys. All right, now I want everybody working at base. We have uh, 38 wood, so it should be able to... Yeah, everybody should be able to work solely on unloading the boats and filling up the distillers with firewood and delivering the water. Water is becoming a big problem. We need more water. Too bad there's no way to upgrade the existing buildings with some sort of tech that allows it to burn, like... 20% more effectively or uh, use less, you know, do it faster or use less firewood or some, something to that effect. 
Lots of water here now. You guys could bring the water back. That'd be great. Just need some deliveries to take place now for fish. Uh, for water, rather. Fish is all good. Yep, there you go, boys. Pick up that water. There we go. Now we should start seeing some in the water reserve. Or they're drinking it right away. Oh, yep, they're drinking it. That person drank. All right, good. Starting to see a lot less water droplets above their heads. So even though there's none in storage, it's going right into them, so that's perfect. Yay! Good. All right, let's send out one of our boats for salvage. Gonna need some more uh, wood delivery now. Be nice. Is there a way to click and drag all of these or double click? No. Just one at a time. Then. Food's getting a little low. Although we do have a buoy marked out there for fishing. Somebody's finally getting around to it. Good. Water is not zero anymore, so we know we've got supply. Good. Excellent. Fishing boats are rolling. Excellent. That's why we need more people working. Population seven out of six. I don't think we need any more beds. Seems to be I think we can get away with half, so that's good. I don't see people sleeping very often. If they do, it's very short that they actually sleep. All right, water's coming in. Good. Send the salvager over to uh, grab the uh, metal now, and then we'll build our scrapyard and get out of here. So there he goes, over to the old highway. Where apparently there's a big O accident. Woo! That is crazy. Look at that pile up. Must be Japan. Look at all these tiny cars. Wow, look at that. He actually rips the boat, uh, the, uh, gets off the boat and starts ripping cars up. And immediately returning with all the scrap. Good job, man. All right, let's see. Any more fish for us? Let's see. All right, I'll mark all these for fish. So anytime somebody's free, they can run right over there and start gathering fish for us. That one's just out of the way. So it looks like just that one at the moment. I don't see... Don't see any more for fish that we can get. That one we can't. Oh, they're always off to the edge. Darn. Well, eventually we'll be able to farm and things like that, and that'll be good. Viaduct is still bringing in materials now. We're at uh, one scrap, but the second boat is going out. Wood is constantly being turned into firewood. Water. Oh, good. Some of our people just need to take a break and go grab a drink. Or Snickers, possibly. You're not yourself if you don't have a Snickers, you know. All right, this is awesome. Lots of wood in storage. That's good. One of our boats being instructed to go out as well. So it looks like most of our jobs are fulfilled. I think we've got most people transporting, shipping things back or uh, working on distilling. So that's good. Lots of water in storage there. Are our storage areas full? Good. Yeah, they're getting a little full. There's still a little bit of room, so we're okay for now. A lot of it being in plastic, I'm assuming. Let's see if we can build ourselves a scrap works yet. Oh, 11 out of 16 is what we need, so the ship just needs to be offloaded. Same story as always. Offload, offload, offload. Same uh, issue with uh, the uh, buoyancy game as well as, you know, buildings can receive a lot of materials, but you need people to transport them back and forth. There's a lot of stuff sitting at the uh, loading dock, but it's not worth it unless it actually gets to the store. Uh, you know, in order for people to use it. I love how certain things are floating doors. Look at that. Part of the walkway is just, like, floating doors and, like, cabinets and things like that. Really funny. Perfect walkway. All right, we are down to our last little bit of fish here. We're out of food. I thought I indicated our people uh, to go out there, but I guess not. All right, we got to get out of here as soon as this viaduct is uh, salvaged. Oh, good. We can finally build that uh, workshop now. Oh, we just need wood, though. And we're working on firewood, that's why. All right, let's shut that down. Let's send some people. Looks like we have no... F okay, let's shut off some of these distillers now. Let's see if this will make our people smart enough. Oh, perfect, the viaduct is done. All right, offload all that stuff, please. And I'm assuming we have no fish in storage. Maybe we do. 
Maybe that's why the fishing boat probably has... Yep, it delivered, but I didn't have stuff ready for it. There we go. Alright, and let's go ahead and indicate for... Oh, just need some more wood there. And the boats are actually gathering materials. Good. All right, we're almost ready to roll out of here. Just need to build up a little bit of food before we go. And we can do that with all the dried fish. And we also need some more dried wood, too, for the uh, obvious reason of building our workshop. Our scrapsmith, to be precise. Excellent. It's more like craftsmith than this town, Rep. Hey, you be nice. You be nice, viewer. Okay. All right, we are out of food, boys, but fish is coming in. Got it. Viaduct is done. We got all the metal from that. Look at that concrete island. Those uh, bre beach metal metal mantides could be dismantled to be our next buildings. Yes, that is true. Very good. Where do we go from here? Let's see. I kind of want to go to Shack Town, abandoned town, which I don't know what that'll give us. Uh, but also we have ourselves fresh water, which would be good too. But I think we're managing quite well on that. Oh, look at this. Another viaduct. That'll be great for metal. Which seems to be something where we have to go to, like, viaducts in order to get metal, it seems, so far. Or abandoned town. So this might be perfect. Oh, good. We, we'll get some more random supplies, possibly food, water, and then metal. That's perfect. We're going to go that way, then. So that's going to cost us one, two oil, which we'll be able to uh, go down that way and then sail to the next one. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Food is uh, on its way now to the storage. So far, so good. Looks like we got food. Excellent. Things are always low, but we're, we're doing just fine. And it looks like we're almost ready to get this thing done. We just need the drying rack to finish up. And as soon as all that stuff is dried, we are good to go. Just a little bit of time. That's all it's going to take. Just waiting for some material to come on back. Let's see. Almost there. Just a little bit more wood to be brought over. And that's it. Perfect. Ooh, that is a big old building. Woo, that's a big boy. Not too bad we can't rotate it, but we can throw it down at the end. Let's do that. All right, we got fish that need to be offloaded. So the drying rack should be able to do that. Let's convert it all to food, maybe. Looks like we still have some extra wood. Oh, man, this guy is hungry, thirsty, and tired. Who sent him out on the sea? You did, YouTuber. That's true. I did. I did. Indeed, I did. Oh, boy, did I ever. All right, let's go to the uh, new area, shall we? Let's see what we have in store for us in the new town. Oh, look at all that stuff being delivered. Yes. Oh, good. Somebody's working on it already. Excellent. All right, comment hi down below in the comments section if you haven't already in order to get your name in here as part of the town members. I'll be uh, stopping at some point in order to name everybody. So if you haven't already, make sure you do that so that way I can add you to our little story here. But everybody who is a viewer is, I guess, a part of the town at heart. I will uh, travel to our new region next, and we're going to go over here then to uh, the shack town, then the leaking water tower, and eventually the viaduct. And we'll make our way further to the east and see what lies in store for us here in Flotsam. You guys have been great. Thank you, as always, for watching and showing your support and giving some helpful hints and saying you love the videos. That's very nice of you all. So I appreciate that. All right. I will see you all next time. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Take care. And we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Ding, ding. Woo. That was good.